new at six, Rip's Cafe in Struthers is under new ownership. The longtime local restaurant known for its hunky platter shut down last year after more than 80 years in business. But today we learned the doors are going to reopen soon. This is video from a story in 2012. Now, it looks a little different from the outside. To see what's happening inside, 27 First News anchor Stan Boney is going to give us a look in Struthers. Well, Rip's Cafe has been around now since 1933. It opened back then in downtown Struthers. It's been here on Youngstown Poland Road since 1958. And tonight it has new owners, Bob Deegan and his friend Jeff Smith, both 1988 graduates of Poland High School, lifelong friends, have bought Rip's in the plaza that it's in and have now reopened it. This is the soft opening tonight. It'll be open for everybody come this Thursday, March 14th. This is Bob Deegan with me right here. What made you decide to do this? Well, I live down the street and we were driving by and I saw it for sale and inquired and here we are <laughs> three months later. Has the historical fact of what this means to Struthers hit you? Do you know what you're getting into oh, yeah. here? Love it. We love the history of it. And that's why we honored it by putting pictures up here of the history of it uh, and, and redoing it as is and keeping the name. You're going to keep the name? Absolutely. All right, let's go over here and talk to Jeff Smith. He is the other owner. Jeff, um, what have you done differently to the bar than what was here when you bought it? Uh, we just uh, dressed it up. Uh, we took the uh, the booths out and we, we put bar height tables in and uh, we gave it a good paint job and a little new lighting here and there and uh, some new restrooms and that's about it. How about the bar? It looks pretty clean. Yeah, well, we refinished all the wood on the bar and we cleaned it all up. Are you going to keep the hunky platter? Yes, we are going to keep the hunky platter. We're going to do it on Thursday nights. It'll be a one day a week thing. And uh, yeah, it'll, 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 it's not going to change. Yeah, it, it, it still pretty much looks like the same Rips Tavern. Yep, yep, just with a little facelift. Jeff Smith, thanks very much. Once again, this is just the soft opening that's taking place tonight. The actual opening of Rips will happen this Thursday, March 14th. After that, they'll be open 11 in the morning to whenever they decide to close. Live in Struthers, Stan Boney, WKBN, 27 First News.